I want to everybody to know that uh, I'm very happy and uh, proud that uh, Titanic came back to help Haiti and uh, today we feel that it's the right moment and uh, we have the momentum to, to build a national team. So we want to work hard with the players that we have in Haiti and the players that we have abroad and uh, Titanic will help in building that. So I would like uh, for Titanic to introduce himself and, t and see what he's doing in the state, what he's doing in Haiti, and how we want to, to, to develop a basketball in Haiti for the next 10 years. Well, um, my name is Pierre Valmera. I'm originally from Lembe, Haiti, 30 minutes away from Cape Haitian. I grew up in, uh, not too far from here. I grew up in Ayopo, Maigate. I uh, started playing basketball at the age of 15 and at the age of 18 I had a chance to go play college basketball. None of this would be possible if I didn't have like great coaches like um, Nadal Johnson who have started training me at the age of 15 and I met Mr. Valborn. Mr. Valborn have helped me get to Union University just because of the help of Robert Joseph. Robert is a guy I always talk about him. The reason I had a chance to go to America is because there is a Haitian who was there before me at Union University who had break the David Robinson uh, record for block shots. He had 242 blocks in 35 games. After he had done such thing and the coach asked him to go to Haiti to find another young man to help. And he actually talked to Mr. Valbor and uh, Mr. Valbor told him, hey, you know a young kid in Haiti. But most Haitian people don't know my real name. In Haiti they call me Titanic because I'm probably the only Haitian who wears size 18 <laughs> sneakers. So, and they tell you there is a kid named Titanic, you have to meet him. And I have met with Robert and Jason have put some good words for me and uh, actually give me, send me to the States. But it was extremely hard for me to get to the embassy. I have a lot of great people in this country who have helped me, like Mr. Daniel Rousier. Uh, was the CEO of what company? Uh, Sonoto. Sonoto. So he uh, wrote a letter for me and said, if I have a chance to get my visa after my study, I can I'll be able to come back to Haiti, and he will have a job for me. So things went this, uh, another way. I'm not a high school teacher. I'm a French teacher and a history teacher in the States. But at the same, before that, I actually went to play professional basketball in Europe. I said this to myself, how can I give back? And when I talked to Jason, Jason said, hey, if you want to change everything, you have to do exactly the same thing God has done for me and the same thing God has put him in his way to have helped me out. So I was keep going back to Haiti, find young men. Now I have helped a, uh, a total of 23 boys from Haiti come to America on full basketball scholarships. I have four of them who already graduated from college. We have one of them who went pro already, named Antoine Joseph, great kid. We have Samuel Danash who graduated with a 3.7 GPA. We just got married last year. And the best news we ever have now, we have the uh, top 50 best high school players in the United States of three young men from Haiti. Uh, we have Scar Scar Lab is here. I have met Scar in December 9, 2009, a month before the earthquake. I have met him in Haiti. For some reason, I feel like the Lord have sent me to Haiti for a reason because I didn't have any reason to be in Haiti in December, you know. And uh, I come to Haiti, I have met Scar, and a month later the earthquake happened. But I didn't stop from there. I was keep coming to Haiti, find more young men and help. And now it's calling that we will get connected again. He ranked number 11 on ESPN. He have a chance, in my opinion, and I have some lot of college coaches in the States who have told me exactly the same thing. He probably gonna be the number one draft pick in 2016. He is 6'11". He's a mix of Tim Duncan and Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy for him, for the Lord to have put me in such position to opening doors. Just like they always told me, the measure of a man is not how big his bank account is, is how many people he blessed. That's where you measure the success. I'm successful today because of what this man have done for me. Like I always told Mr. Valbo, I didn't bring 24 kids to the United States. That's his work. Because if you didn't give me a chance, if Nadal didn't give me a chance, I will, we will not be sitting right now having this interview. Like I always say, I want to thank you for all the stuff you have done for me. And you, have, you and Nadal have changed my life. I'm a, I'm a, you know, and all the good things I'm doing in this country, all the people who have come here and helped me with camps, is because of you. Just like we said the other day, the problem in our country is not like Haiti don't have the potentials. Haitian, we don't look enough for each other. So Mr. Valbu, we have changed that. He helped me, he looking out for me. Now, 
we are looking out for others. We have another young man named Jerry Baptiste. Jerry Baptiste probably the probably a little bit bigger or the same size as Dwight Howard. Jerry Baptiste now he was at, he was at LeBron Scale Academy in Vegas. I went to see him and Schneider play. Jerry Baptiste is seven feet tall with 250 pounds, pure muscle. He is the first ever seven footer who can guard every single position. He, is, he have a 3.8 GPA in high school. He have school like Harvard who are interested. He have uh, Kansas who likes him a lot. He have Oklahoma who they offer him. This is one of the biggest stories we ever have in Haiti. Me as a young Haitian kid, when I was in Haiti, when I was still living in Haiti, I used to think nobody really cared about me until Mr. Valbuena came. Alone. It's a, not a criminal. They make me feel like I have potentials. Even when I was going to college, I was going to such a small school. I didn't believe I can help because okay, what kind of impact I'm gonna make on kids when I play in such a lower division. But I was lucky enough to play for great coaches like Coach David Niven, Coach Ralph Turner. They have actually built me as a person. Taught me a lot of things in the community. When I was in Jackson, Tennessee, we go to a lot of different work like uh, community service. I have learned all these things and coming back to Haiti and do exactly the same thing I have learned from college. I didn't play in the NBA. I have a very, my career in Europe wasn't too long, but my goal is I'm not in competition with any Haitian American who play in the NFL or Haitian who are playing the NBA. So the message we have for them. You guys are not the only talent who ever come out of this country. We got to get together. Just waving the flag is not enough. We have to come together as one team. Like I started this program called Power Forward International. Power Forward means give it for. I'm the founder and CEO. We have to come together, come doing camps together, and find the next talent to win this country to put Haiti on the map. The, the thing is, I believe sports is a way to change this island. With or without them, Mr. Valbo and I and new people we have working with us, we're gonna work. We send this message, we're not threatening anyone, but the way to help, because what about if Jason didn't help me get to America? I will not be able to take care of my family. My mom and dad are okay now. My brothers and sisters in Haiti, they find because somebody have given me a chance. Now look, I am an ambassador for my country. And you are, you are. I come and look for them and the chance Haiti, I believe, I believe. When I'm watching soccer, even basketball, I don't think this other guy, God have given me crazy power to make them better athletes than the Haitian. We probably some of the best athletes out there who never had a chance. I believe in 2020, for what we were planning, we're not going to the Olympic to just compete. We're gonna win. We are to be the best. We wanna be the best. We are. The, we used to, and and we're not gonna do it by ourselves. We're gonna learn from the best to make it happen. Haiti, we are not just gonna supporting Brazil anymore or Argentina. We're gonna start supporting our own players. I am Haitian. I'm not Brazilian. I love the Brazilian people. But it's time for us to wear our own jersey. After just like, 1974, we want to get back. Again. Last time we were in any good competition were in 1974. 24. The problem in our country, we're still talking about something that happened 40 years ago. We want to shoot now for 2020. We want to shoot now for 2020 for the Haitian national team. And we have great coaches in the States and we have great vision for us. And we're going to make it happen. We have um, Scala BCS 611, very good player, very good kid. We have Jerry Baptiste and one of the biggest story, I don't know if it's, uh, I want to show you guys this. I always use my phone for everything. <laughs> Thanks yeah. to technology. Thanks to <laughs> iPhone technology. This is a young man. This is Schneider Erard. I have a Schneider Erard two years ago. He's from a place in Haiti called Solino. It's of course it's a tough place. But after we find him and help him get a scholarship to go to the States and a couple weeks ago he was at the LeBron Skill Academy. As you guys can see, it's a little bit bigger than LeBron. <laughs> Schneider just won a state championship for Preston Wood, and it's a school in Dallas, Texas. That is the same school the number seven draft pick from the Lakers uh, went last uh, two years ago. His name is Julius Randle. He have won a championship that the year before, and Schneider coming a year later have done exactly the same thing. And Schneider era, and we have a uh, Scala this year. Scott, this is the young man I have met in December 9, 2009. Now he ranked number 11 in ESPN. 
he probably one of the most popular high school player in the United States, the most girls. And I was with him and uh, I actually run into him again in Dallas, Texas. Now he's still a little bit bigger. Scarl Labissier is 6'11". They say he's a mix of Tim Duncan and Kevin Durant. The message I'm sending, I'm sending to the world, the Haitians are coming, we are ready and we need their help to get there.